Hello my lovelies, I think this is probably going to be my most exciting haul so far not because there's like a single particular item that I'm like dying to show you but because I sort of got like a few things that are mixed kind of price range from like things that are like £10 to things that are a few hundred pounds but they're all items I absolutely adore and cannot wait to wear including something very special that I cannot wait to open and I've been saving for this video so that I can finally wear them. Since I'm starting this video like I never normally do, like jumping straight to the point, before I start showing you all of the new things that I've got in here, I have to give a big shout out to my sister. Probably the person I mentioned the most on my YouTube channel, but she totally deserves it. And this time I'm giving her a shout out because she picked out this incredible sweater for me. Actually, she made like a whole um, little Cezanne shopping for me because I had a voucher to spend and I was just like in kind of like a phase where I was a bit indecisive and I couldn't decide what I wanted. So she decided to take the voucher and completely buy like I think like four or five things for me and they're all equally stunning. So without praising her too much, I'm just gonna say she picked this sweater for me. It's kind of like see-through lace sweater type of thing and I've received like more than 10 compliments for it today. Uh, I wore it and you guys as well asked me so many times where is it from so I'm gonna link it below so that no one has to wonder and everyone can have this beautiful jumper that I have. Let's now jump into showing you what I got recently. So I definitely do not need to shop anymore for like a very long time in my life but the thing is I'm going to Santorini uh, for kind of like a work and like shooting holiday I'm gonna be making like some lookbooks I'm gonna be making a lot of content for my blog YouTube channel and Instagram so make sure to follow me on all of those platforms because I think you will really like the content from there but when I was sort of making lists of what I want to pack for Santorini I realized that I have a lot of like swimming suits I have a lot of dresses now tops like shorts, skirts, all of the clothes, I really did not need any of that but I realized I don't have any sandals or like cute summer shoes like I have so many ankle boots, so many boots, so many kind of shoes that are not really appropriate for Santorini so I was thinking like what will I wear there and what am I gonna wear for the rest of the holidays that I have planned this year and decided to shop so surprise <laughs> i am gonna start by showing you the most exciting thing of this whole haul and yes it is something from hermes i have to say i stopped at um new bond street uh, boutique in london and i was not intending on buying this because i always thought these kind of shoes or sandals will not suit me now you might already be guessing what's in here if you're an hermes fan but Maybe not, who knows. However, this time I decided to try them because I was waiting for some paperwork to be filled in for a repair. So I wanted to try them on and when I did, I completely fell in love. So let me show you what's inside. I think this is quite exciting. I'm kind of feeling almost a little bit like sad to like unbox this. So. As you open the orange box, which I also like to call my vitamin C, you have the two dust bags. Of course, two feet. And then inside, let me see, they both have the paper. Inside are these little sandals. Now you've probably seen these kind of like slippers with the H all over like Instagram and other social media but these have a little heel and they're probably like your ideal grandma sandal um, that I'm obsessed with. The reason why I love these is because they're just so 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 simple. They're in perfect red color. Um, initially the turquoise one caught my eye and I thought like turquoise ones would be perfect for Santorini but my lovely sales assistant Emily who is so kind brought me the red ones 
and when I tried them on I was like this is so perfect I could even travel in these I could wear them all around they're kind of like almost even even like suitable for evening because of the small heel and I really love them that they're not completely flat because they're much easier to walk in when they've got a little bit of heel this is maybe like like four centimeters heel so it's perfect now i got these in size bigger not just the size but size and a half because i don't know if you guys follow but i always always buy a bigger size when the shoe is open at the back because there's nothing worse than when your heel is like poking out here and i have a, I, well i think i have a wide foot so i basically don't ever push like my foot to the very very front so I need a bit of space at the back because I get a bit of space in the front and I love these I'm not sure on the name of these but I will leave all the info in the description box below obviously I bought two I didn't buy just one but um, hopefully you know that by now so yeah actually they would go quite nicely with the outfit I'm wearing today as well and I'm very excited to wear these and then I'll tell you guys what I think, how they wear and tear and how comfortable they really are. So let's see. While I was still in Serbia, I did a bit of a sneaky online order from Dolce & Gabbana website. You guys probably know how obsessed I am with Dolce & Gabbana. If I could wear one brand forever and one only, it would probably be it. I feel like it's a brand that just resonates with me the most. I love the silhouettes of everything. I love the materials, the designs, the prints, the philosophy of the brand. I love everything about it. I love that it's so feminine, yet like empowering. I just love the brand and I could not have enough Dolce ever. So when the new Hortensia collection came out, I was like, I need everything. Basically, there's so much on my wish list, like all of the dresses, all of the bags. I don't even know how to help myself, basically. But I stopped myself at one item only for now. And in case you're wondering what Hortensia print is, it is basically this thing here. It's like hydrangea, I think, in English. And this is what the shoe box looks like. It's just stunning. And let me just tell you that this is not the only pair of Dolce & Gabbana shoes you're gonna see in this video. Technically, I told you I need some summer shoes, right? So, the shoes in here are kind of day appropriate as well. So I've got like a pair of really, really day appropriate shoes. Then I've got a little dress here, day shoes, and then I have some evening ones. So, yeah, a bit of everything. You also get like a beautiful Hortensia print um, dust bag. And then the shoes are kind of like Mary Jane's with a smaller heel and then they have the Hortensia print all over. I really hope this video is giving them justice. I haven't worn them yet so they're completely unworn as you can see. They come in two different heels, heel heights and this is the smaller one. They come in the high heel as well but I thought these would be perfect with like boyfriend jeans, white shirt and like maybe my green Chanel bag or my light blue um, diorama or really anything because this is just so easy and it's like quite neutral still but quite fun and funky and I just love this so this kind of button here with all the Dolce shoes it doesn't really unbutton it's just like a rubber there's like a rubber thing that you just kind of pull you slide your foot inside and I got them in size 39 and a half I'm 39 I just wanted to have a bit more space because you know um, for the hot days like the detail in every single Dolce & Gabbana item is like it's art it's definitely art so the detailing in this little kind of like buckle the detail inside the stitching um, the Hortensia print inside the label which is always beautifully on a beautiful piece of material then at the back there is like a Dolce & Gabbana metal like little plate and then here it says something in Italian which means real leather made in Italy in beautiful, beautiful font. When I bought them, when they arrived and I opened them, I literally knew what Cinderella felt like when she got her slipper back. So yeah, I'm very curious what you think about Dolce & Gabbana as a brand and what you think about the designs. I love them so much and I hope you do too. And if not, I'm gonna make you love the brand because I love it so much and I always have. <laughs> 
since I'm already talking about Dolce, I thought I'd show you my last Dolce piece in this haul and it comes in this Tropico Italiano box, which is another collection from them. I just I just love all the collections. They are so innovative, they are different. Each collection is kind of like something new. I'm always thinking what is it that they're gonna come up with next and I always get surprised. So these shoes are probably the most incredible shoes I own. No, I, this is definitely the most incredible pair I own in my whole collection. It might be even the most expensive pair of shoes I own, but it's because of the way it's made. So, as with the previous shoes, you receive like a dust bag, which is the print of the collection. Tropico Italiano in this case. And then here they are. They are literally the most incredible shoes I've ever seen. When I showed them to my sister, it took her like a minute to react. She was like, wow, this is art. Because basically the heel is completely different, like it's completely fully crystallized, but in a non-tacky way at all. It's super classy, super feminine. When, when I put it on my feet, I felt like really ladylike and the heel is very sturdy, very comfortable. The front bit is made of this kind of like, I don't even know how to describe this, like almost like nylon, but it's all like tied in front and it's colorful. This is perfect for summer because like summer nights in Santorini for like a colorful cocktail. Um, this back here bit is of course incredible. Again, the detailing is just, I cannot stress how much I love these sandals. I intend to wear these sandals and only these sandals whole summer because I am so obsessed with them. I love them. So I thought I definitely don't need any more shoes for the summer because I've got my day sandals, my beach sandals, my heels, I've got a few slides for the pool and I'm sorted. But I figured out I have no hats, like I basically am a huge hat person, I love hats, but I got rid of most of my hats because I don't tend to buy too expensive hats or I guess I don't really look after my hats that well, so they only last me a season and then I end up repurchasing them when the new season comes. So I went on ASOS and bought like three or four hats I think. I'll just leave a link below for everything in the order I'm mentioning it. I love the voter hats, I don't know if you can see, this is like the gondolier hat. This is for me like a perfect city break hat. You can also wear it like this, but I don't think that's really like kind of cool way to wear them. I think this is the best way to wear these hats. I think they're super cute and I got it in size medium because I have a lot of hair and a big head. But yeah, you can, medium to large I got it in. I could probably got it in a smaller size, but I never like when a hat is too tight. It gives me a headache. So that's hat number one. Hat number two, I think this hat was 10 pounds actually. It's pretty similar, but I just didn't know. It's like a bit smaller brim, as you can see. Why does there look, yeah, there we go. It looks like there's something here, but I promise you everything looks fine. Oh, it's just my hair. So it's a bit shorter brim and um, it's pretty similar or not if not the same in the front as you can see really love it 10 pounds i think that's pretty good for a straw hat then hat number three i think i got only three or four but the fourth one i'm returning and um, the fourth hat i really love it's kind of like a typical wide big beach hat as you can see but what i love about it the most is the back well, this is kind of difficult to show, but this is what it looks like at the back. So it looks very, very, very pretty because it has this little detailing here. But you will see how I photograph it in Santorini. So those three hats really are something that I will bring with me to Greece and I think they will be so useful and so handy especially if we do some walks and stuff those like um, those kind of like gondolier hats they're just so useful I plan on putting my Chanel brooches onto the let me show you so on here I like to put a Chanel brooch and it will be so cute and it's like a 10 pound hat that just automatically looks so cool and is embellished with a detail so I can put it here or I can put it in front Another thing that I have to mention is that one of my friends, Alexandra from Lovely Peppa, recently launched her collection of clothing and 
I don't remember last time I saw a blogger launch such a great collection of clothing. As soon as she launched the collection, I was like, oh my god, there were so many cute pieces that I loved, loved, loved. And I recently commented on one of her pictures, how much I loved the top. Coincidentally, it was from her collection and she kindly sent it to me. Again, like, I'm really not doing this for any particular reason apart from the fact that I truly, truly love this and I also love supporting whenever my fellow blogger friends are doing something. So here is the top. It's like totally up my street. It's basically like this see-through white um, star print top and I really love it. I love the cutouts. I love the fact that it's see-through but not too see-through. It's long-sleeved, so very light long-sleeved and very very cute i love the detailing on the sleeve as well this is the thing that i really love i feel like sometimes when people launch their own collection they just come up with things for the sake of it and i feel like she put so much effort into this like look at the sleeve there's like a little button here there is so much work and idea put into this and that's something i really really appreciate so the collection and the brand is called like her blog, Lovely Peppa, and I think you guys should check it out. So I really love it so, 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 and I will also bring this with me um, to my holidays. Last item is something that I actually bought now probably over a month ago, but it only just reached me because it took a while. And it's something that I wasn't sure if I should show because I've been shopping so much lately and I don't want you guys to think that all I do is shop because pretty much all I do is work. Actually, now that I popped into the Hermes store in May, it's the first time that I actually enter the boutique in such a long time. When I shop, I mainly shop online, I guess. Long story short, I ordered something that I'm so happy about and I'm so happy it finally arrived that I couldn't wait to share with you and I think you guys will like it so I thought I'd show it to you and give you my honest opinion. So if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Insta stories you probably know that there is a new Chanel baby in my collection and it is this pink kind of like, um, what is this material even called? Like, <laughs> called my friend said like a t-shirt material but it's like a cotton like a uh, fabric uh chanel 255 classic as you can see like it's literally exactly the same as my green leather chanel it's just that it's pink and it's made of this like beautiful cotton like material i was always the person that thought it's kind of stupid to buy a bag made of this kind of fabric because it's not leather but you still have to pay a lot of money for a handbag that is not even leather. So I was like, that's not really like a, like, you know, that why would you do that? But I just love this because it's so much more casual, yet it's Chanel, and actually it is leather inside. So when you open it, it just opens as like standard Chanel double flap. And then I filled it in with some paper, so I hope you'll excuse that. Um, but it's actually leather inside. Wait, I'll empty it. So inside it is this beautiful leather and it just looks like every other Chanel with like two pockets at the back, then one in the front and it's all leather every single wear, including the back pocket here. It's leather inside. So everything is leather except from the material. Now I'm very curious how this will wear and if I will get any color transfer like from jeans, from like if I put it down somewhere or like if I put it on a table or on a chair or from the coats. I'm very curious, obviously currently it's new so I wouldn't know if it will get any marks and things like that but then if it does surely it should be easily cleaned as well, right? I don't know if any of you have got a Chanel made of material rather than leather, please let me know what your experience is like and if you have any tips for cleaning it. So far I love it and actually I would love to wear it with something like this. I think it would be just perfect. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are below. Thank you so much for watching and I'm super excited to take you on a trip with me to Santorini tomorrow already. I also never managed to edit my Coachella vlog, which is also going to be the next video coming up, but I also found some lost footage from London and Paris during the fashion month. 
please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see the content from London Paris Fashion Week because it's quite interesting but I'm not sure if you guys want to see that so let me know in the comments below if it's too late or not either way thank you so much for watching I love you all so much thank you for your comments and I'll see you soon bye